Hello 365 Nerds, my name is Omar and I've been invited here to talk to you about a thing. So I'm going to talk to you about a thing. Mostly I'm going to talk about objectivist philosophy because I just got done playing Bioshock and that's, that's what's been on my mind. So I'm going to teach you about Ayn Rand's philosophy if you want to learn about it. So continue watching the video please. Essentially for objectivists, reality exists only as humans can perceive it. So because of this, reality is independent of a consciousness or an overall guiding sort of abstract moral principle, right? So because of that, the only moral thing to do in an objectivist mind is to pursue your base desires, your true happiness. And by happiness, I mean rational self-interest. And the only social system that allows for this is laissez-faire capitalism, which is why in Bioshock, Andrew Ryan basically goes under the sea to avoid government because he holds steadfastly to the idea that a person who works hard and does things that contribute to our overall better understanding of the world and our objective persistence and desire and understanding and our ability to perceive the world should be rewarded and the laissez-faire capitalism does that because it rewards people by objective merit. Now I suppose an objectivist philosophy does have its merits. <laughs> Get it? Because objectivist philosophy usually leads to a meritocracy. Anyways, it, it does have some valid points. People who work hard but don't get the recognition that they would deserve in a regular sort of capitalist society would get the recognition they deserve in a meritocracy, laissez-faire sort of way because it's based solely on your individual merit and what you're able to produce because of your work. But on the flip side, only certain people who have resources could produce that work in the first place, so it still creates sort of a haves and have-nots system. But I can I can I can sort of see the the logic behind an objectivist's laissez-faire sort of thing, but it still doesn't help people who are just born less fortunate out of circumstance, but who could create something of merit if they were given the resources to do so. Which is why I don't really like how Andrew Ryan refers to anyone who takes something that they didn't work for as a parasite that leeches off of some system that the government put, it, put in place. Objectively speaking, the more people who are working on stuff, the better your society is going to be. Regardless of how they attained those resources, if they use those resources for good, then they end up contributing to the society as a whole, and it makes everything hell of a lot better. So, I'm gonna have to disagree with Andrew Ryan. It's good. It's a good thing, um, yeah, he, uh, spoiler alert, he dies by the end of Bioshock. So, good, good thing, I guess. Although Rapture wasn't, wasn't doing very well to begin with. So I guess it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that game was really good. I liked it. So, Cliff Notes. Objectivism is the philosophy that reality only exists as we can perceive it, so the best course of action morally is to go and pursue your own rational self-interest in whatever makes you happy, which generally leads to a more laissez-faire, hands-off, government doesn't do what they need to do sort of system, because that's the only one that privileges an individual's right to make or do or say or think whatever they want to do. So that's objectivism in a nutshell. If you want to look up more on this topic, there are a bunch of, of books. Just Google Ayn Rand in on just Google Ayn Rand and then you'll you'll come up with like a list of books that she's done. And I don't know, I just I was I was just really interested in the philosophy because Bioshock was a really story heaven driven game. Although it was it was met, it was really easy in game in terms of gameplay, but but the story and the atmosphere so really drew me in. So I just wanted to talk about that. I don't know if this made any sense or even if I explained it well. You can like clear up some stuff in the comments or let me know if I'm just terrible at this. But but if you want more coherent educational stuff, I have a, a my channel is linked in the description and it is an educational channel. So I highly encourage you to check it out. Shameless plug, I know. But, but seriously, I'm, I'm much better, like, with a script and not when I'm, like, on camera, because I, I, I'm just no good on camera, honestly. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye! Now, would you kindly subscribe to my channel and 365 Nerds?